let's construct a square with a compass. What properties do you want to work on? Well, the one thing you have to remember is that a square is both a rectangle and a rhombus. So you need one set of properties from the rectangles and one set of properties from the rhombus in the same shape, in the same drawing. So you got to decide which to partner up. So there's two real rectangle properties, congruent angles or diagonals are congruent. Let's start with the angles first. So let's make a bunch of 90s. So start of the line, because i got to make 90s to there. And let's make some circles. Because two circles are going to get me a 90. Two circles get me a 90. They can be any size, and just for convenience I'll make them the same size so I don't have to keep switching. Okay, so these two crossing here. are going to make me a 90 right there. Now, i got to do another one over here. Now I'm just making the same size. I just care where it crosses the, cir the other circle. Because that's my 90. So I've got this rectangle set up. I've got 90s. Now the rhombus says the sides have to be the same. Well, I already got one side of my circle, or of my square. It goes from here to here, because these are the corners. Well, measure that with your compass. It goes from here to here. Then put a tick mark up here, and put a tick mark up here. There are the other corners of your square. Oops. I always move. We made 90 degree corners right here, and then we made sides all the same. It's one way to make a square. The other way is to work with the diagonals. And the diagonals in a square are perpendicular. And they're congruent. Perpendicular because they're a rhombus. Congruent because they are a rectangle. So let's make some diagonals. Let's make a perpendicular. Because that's the rhombus aspect. Diagonals are perpendicular. Yeah, I only made part of a circle. I just need the overlap. I just need where they cross. There is a perpendicular. So those are my diagonals. So somehow here is a square. Now a rectangle says that they have to be congruent. Easiest way to make things congruent is to make them a diameter or a radius. So we're going to make a circle centered right there. Make it any size we want, make it bigger, make it smaller. And there are the corners of my square. I made diagonals that were perpendicular. That's the rhombus aspect. And then I make them go diameter, which makes them congruent. So I go here to here, here to here, and I've got reasons for those dots. It's because they, they are at intersections. It's the whole point behind drawing stuff. Intersections. There's a square. 
diagonals that are perpendicular, the rhombus aspect, diagonals that are congruent, they are diameters, the rectangle aspect.